first of all, I just want to say that my nan and grandpa couldn't make it tonight because I turned around and I told them I was in a competition for performance of your life, but my grandfather actually thought that I said performance with his wife. So obviously they haven't turned up tonight. Um, other than that, um, basically I'm going to say a load of jokes tonight and they're mainly going to be about my girlfriend because I know I can get away with it. Yeah. Um, first of all, um, you know, my missus turned around and she said to me, you know, thing is, I have a problem, you know, um, I think I need a facelift. I said, well, what do you mean? She said, well, I spoke to the doctor and he turned around and he said, yeah, go for a facelift, he said, but if you bring the dynamite, I'll give you a 40% discount. <laughs> so, you know, that went down well. And uh, I was looking at her the other day and she bent down in front of the telly. I thought, you could lose, you could lose a few pounds off that ass, fair play. And she turned around and she said, you know, I'm thinking about going to the gym. Oh, bloody hell, did I say that out loud? And she turned around and she said, uh, I said, what's the matter? You know, why do you want to lose a few weights? She said, well, look. I said, yeah, it's an ass. She said, no, she said, look how fat it is. I said, no, no, it's not fat, it's just easier to see. <laughs> and, you know, it's just, my sister came in the other day and, uh, you know, she turned around and she said, oh, you'll never guess what. She said to my missus, oh, you'll never guess what. I'm pregnant again. She said, oh, never. She said, congratulations. She said, yeah. She said, there must be something in the air. I said, yeah, it is, your legs. <laughs> And uh, she, she walked out and uh, I said, well, don't forget, when you go on Twitter later, say thank you to Taylor Swift. She said, well, why? I said, because she wrote a song about your legs. She said, really? I said, yeah. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. <laughs> you know, problems I got, right? Women, just trouble, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. thank you, thank you. See, see, he agrees with me, right? But women, they always want you to take them places, right? Like my missus turned around, she said to me the other day, she said, Dan, you know, take me somewhere where I've never been before. I said, radio, no problem. So I picked her up and I took her to the kitchen. <laughs> she said, I said, what would you like for your birthday? She said, well, nothing would make me more happier. Nothing would make me happier than diamonds. I said, nothing, all right, no problem. So I bought her nothing. <laughs> And then she said, for her next birthday, she said, I want something that'll go 0 to 60 in a few seconds. I said, no problem. So I bought her a pair of Wayne skills. <laughs> so, as you can tell, she wasn't too impressed as uh, the women are all giving me evils in the room there. <laughs> and I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> um, Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big, big hand. Come on now. Well done, Andrew.